Now from your local election headquarters, the race for the 4th Congressional District seat between Mayor Ben McAdams and Congresswoman Mia Love continues to tighten. ABC 4's Glenn Beebe breaks down the numbers and tell us when, tells us when we might know about a clear winner. Congresswoman Mia Love gained more than 3,600 votes into Mayor Ben McAdams' lead for the 4th Congressional District to bring his advantage down to just half a percent. Mia Love has some reason to be optimistic today. She needs between 48 and 49 percent of all remaining Salt Lake County votes if she's going to win this thing. McAdams started the day with around a 4,900 vote lead, which quickly diminished after Utah County gave updated numbers. But his lead went back up by a few hundred votes once Salt Lake County also released new data. After St. Pete County officially finished counting all their ballots, McAdams' lead is now settled around 1,200 votes. The biggest amount of ballots left to count is still in Salt Lake County, where McAdams has been getting around 55% of the votes. The math is still not that easy for her, but there is a view of victory for her. Love's campaign said in a statement, the numbers are moving in the right direction and we are diligently watching for additional results. McAdams Camp also responded to the new numbers, saying in part, the mayor's lead continues to hold and we remain optimistic about the final tally. We will continue watching results as they come in. One of the biggest unknowns is what impact the thousands of provisional ballots will have from those who registered and voted on Election Day. I think it's going to come down to those provisional ballots because we just don't know who those people are or what motivated them to show up. Reporting in Salt Lake City, I'm Glenn Beebe, ABC4 News. A lot of questions still. Now, according to the latest numbers, there are around 27,000 ballots left to count in Utah County. About 18,000 are provisional. Now, Salt Lake County has nearly 46,000 votes left to count, not including more than 16,000 provisional ballots, which still have to be verified.